Okay, so just for everybody who's watching this, this is finally most likely going to be the last episode, unless it's longer than two hours to beat the final, you know, mission, which I don't think it's going to be. But if it is, then I guess this will be part one of the two last ending parts. But anyways, before we continue on to do the high support, I just want to point out that I am almost certain we are not the original Igor. I just don't know how that's possible, but everything through the dialogue missions and things we've uncovered just points to the fact that you're not Igor, or at least not the original Igor or anything like that. The only mystery on that that I, hasn't, that I haven't solved is I don't know how it's possible right now. I have theories like because his, issue, his memories are like off on the actual event of the Chernobyl disaster, maybe like he went through time and or he was, you know, split into a different Igor or, you know, Random theories that I can't, you know, confirm, but I am 99% sure that the Igor we're playing as isn't the original Igor, I just don't know how. And then we've pretty much solved every mystery uh, we've come across, all the conspiracies are done, unless there's one that for some reason we somehow missed doing all of the missions in the game that we did, but I don't think that's true. And now we're going to be taking on the last mission. Oh, no, actually, look. We've actually conducted all four of the investigations. We've acquired all the tools. And we have all the team members. Okay, let's let's plan this. A sniper. Someone needs to watch our back. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, How do we choose who goes where? Okay, oh, do we just drag? Let's just start heist. Everyone, it's time to hit the power plant. We all know it's not going to be easy. We tried before, and not everyone made it. But this time we're smarter and better prepared. I know we can do this. We have to do this. It's the only way we can find Tachana and end NAR. Mercy, you're talking about striking at the heart of the Rat King. But have you learned everything possible about his plans? I have evidence that NAR was conducting Chernobylite experiments back in the 90s. Tachana and her baby were two of their subjects. With the rate at which their technology is progressing, soon nothing will be able to stop them. We must act now. What about that black mask wearing motherfucker? Have you identified him? His name is Boris Glukov. He, Tachana and I were close friends until he betrayed us. He helped the KGB gather evidence against Tatyana, then continued to work for NAR after my accident. He experimented on himself with Chernobylite and ended up with great power. He's strong, one of the strongest, but we can beat him, together. Do you know what NAR is actually doing at the power plant? Why is it so important? A and what does it have to do with Tatyana? NAR wants to create a permanent wormhole to the Chernobylite world and get to its source. Tatiana's abilities are needed to support the space-time bridge. It's hard to know what happens if they succeed. But what they're doing is unbelievably risky. They could unleash something horrific on this world or become unstoppable themselves. But we're never going to know the outcome because we're going to stop them. I like the pep talk, Professor. I think you even gave me a bit of a job. But do we have the right tools for the job? Yes, we do. We've got everything we need to infiltrate the power plant. This is much bigger than anything any of us has done before. If you want to back out, this is your chance. One organization holding this much power is against everything I believe in. And besides, this is personal for me. Oh, Can I thought he was it? totally going to back out. You know he doesn't like me. The Red King must be stopped at all costs, Mousy. I'm in. I started out doing this for a paycheck. But I'm going to end it for my brother in arms. For Anton. Let's do this. Whatever it takes to protect my people and drive NAR out, I'm on board. Oh, you think I'm gonna back out now and miss the best part? Fuck no. I'm with you, Igor. Okay. I appreciate your trust. We can't count on the element of surprise, but we know enough about NAR's vulnerabilities to make this work. Time and again, NAR has shown they would rather capture than kill me. We can use this to our advantage. We'll dress somebody up as an NAR officer, escorting a prisoner. Me. That's our ticket inside. We have two NAR uniforms, both male. Any takers? I'll do it. I have no problem posing as an NAR officer. My hand is still giving me trouble, but I can deal with it. 
You should take someone who can keep his cool when things go sideways, as they inevitably do. Trust me on that. You're not seriously thinking about going without me? I'm a blast at parties. Ask anyone. Uh, he's the obvious choice because of his military background. Obviously, yeah. Why the fuck would I not? Uh. Hmm. All right, we still have one more uniform. Any takers? Bashkin. NAR must have upgraded its digital defense perimeter and surveillance system by now. A skillful hacker should be able to at least temporarily disable them. I'm your man, Mousy. You are. <laughs> the great rat catcher has blessed me with a knack for that kind of thing. Electronics, surveillance, computers. There's no one better than me. I wouldn't call myself a black hat, but I know enough. As long as we don't get into serious stuff, I should do fine. No, it's obviously Tarakan. I need someone to cover our asses in case we end up in the shit. Someone who can take down a target from a distance, or at least create a diversion. Firearms are my preferred method of solving problems, but I can definitely distract them. You already have a my job! I'm impaired since I injured my hand. You're wounded. But I can manage. <laughs> What's there to consider? I'm your gal, Igor. It's obviously you, Olga. <laughs> Last but not least, a spy. I want someone to monitor NAR activities and keep us informed about their moves. Oh man. I've been watching these I'm your guy. I know the power plant like a boy knows the woods behind his house. Shut Let up! You already have a job! No, this is gonna be Mikhail. Does everyone know what to do? There we go. Last chance to read. This is everybody. I like you could choose give up. <laughs> Just give up. <laughs> Get all the way here and you're like, this I'm done, I give up. Love. The last stretch. You've been through so much for me. Make sure you're ready, because it will take everything you have. Your wits, your strength, your plan, your companion's loyalty, everything. Good luck, my love. Today's the day. Whatever happens. Let's go, guys. Let's go, team. Everything sorted, guys. Can we start our prisoner escort off? I'm ready. Though my hand still hurts like hell. If the uniform doesn't get us in, we have one more ace up our sleeve. Their friend enemy password. They say we quell the storm. And we reply and ride the thunder. Remember it. Before we enter the lion's den, I need to triple check everything is ready. How's my tech? Have you logged into their system? I'm in, Mousy. What do you need me to do? I will load their systems, bypass security. You ask and I'll do it. But don't be rash. Once we get started, it's only a matter of time before they kick me out again. Spy check. How are my eyes and ears? Eyes are bright and my ears are wide open. I got the plans and codes up and I can hear those boring fuckers chatter like they were sitting in my lap. No worries, Igor. With me on your side, this will be like walking to the grocery store. Sniper, are you in position? Have you got eyes on? I'm all set, Igor, and I feel good. This is just like my hunting days. I get you the fly off your lapel. There are a few sentries outside the gate. That's obstacle number one. Taking them out quickly is certainly an option. And with the silencer, I should be able to keep my position. It's your call, Igor. Better use the side passage for now. You can always kill them on your way out. <laughs> Don't forget that you're a prisoner, Igor. Downcast, hopeless. Use this to our advantage. All right, Olga. Do it. Watch and learn, Igor. I'm gonna put their lights out. One, two, three.
There we go. So far, so good. But it's getting harder now. NAR's upgraded some of the old security features. The electronics are the least of your worries. Nobody said anything about this exposed courtyard. You stand out like a signal flare at a funeral week, or be extra careful. Security checkpoint. What used to be a radiation detector is now a biometric scanner. Clever. I already found the right database. I'll upload your biometric data, and you can walk right through. Ugh, I can't get a line of sight on all of them. Maybe I should target those fuel tanks on the far side of the gates. That'll keep them distracted long enough for you to slip past. But if we do that, I'll have to fall back from this position. Those NAR security systems can be broken by someone with enough know-how. Those IT wankers probably spent their upgrade budget on porn up premium content. Once those gates read my biometrics, my cover will be blown. We need to convince them somehow that we're friendlies. Tarakan, I like your thinking. One moment. Yes, done and done. Those gates won't be a problem, Mercy. Time to move. With a little luck, they won't notice us. Hey, okay, all good so far. Oh, I'm so nervous. The entrance should be very close. It's a large metal door to the tech access corridor. Nothing I can't handle. Remember the charges I prepared for breaching security doors. Powerful, but quiet. Like sticking a curling iron into a pound of butter. Or maybe you want to save them for later. Keep your hand down, Igor. There's a fucking sniper on the building above you. Stop yelling. How do you know? Picked it up on the radio. They haven't made you yet, but if you trigger the alarm, they'll come down on you like a swarm of Katyushas. Damn. If I force the lock, it'll trigger the alarm. This will be tough. I can try to remotely unlock the door without tripping the alarm, but no guarantees. You'll have to move very quickly, Mousy. Let me put that guy on the platform to sleep, and you can make as much noise as you want. The lock is wired to the alarm system. But Sashko's charges will destroy both the lock and the trigger mechanism. I should be fine. All right, Olga. Do it. Bullseye! Oh, I thought I'd be able to use the charges as well. That's unfortunate. I thought I could kill the guard and then use the charges. Inside. We're safe, at least for now. These tunnels just about make a beeline to the reactor. What the fuck? The electronics are sizzling as if they're going to explode. That's to be expected, Mousy. The power plant's electrical system is antiquated, falling apart. I have access to the circuit board. Perhaps I can cut power to the nearest corridor. Have you been listening, Mousy? I can turn off the entire sector remotely, no problem. I'll only leave the light on at your location. I can't shoot the switchboard, can I? I, I would have to go there in person, which would almost certainly compromise my position. I'll be out of the game after that. Tarakan, I like your thinking. Today, the darkness is our friend, Mousy. You're completely now safe. Yeah, I'm a little bit sad that I couldn't, like, pass that door without setting off the alarm, because I totally thought I could, like, kill and then make as much noise as I want, you know? Like, that's what I thought. I thought that meant that I could then do, like, any other option. But it's okay. It seemed to have worked so far.
the hell did they go? Are they just sprinting ahead of me? I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> oh, there you guys are. What the fuck? You just took off without me. What if I got lost? <laughs> Getting close to the reactor floor. I think we managed to dodge the main security detail. As long as we maintain our cover, we should be good. Step very fucking lightly now, Igor. The place is swarming with those cocksuckers. NAR has beefed up security around ARC for some reason. Either they're preparing for something, or you're walking straight into a goddamn trap. I'm in the Golden Corridor. It looks like NAR beefed up security after our little escapade. Not unexpected. Don't be a fool, Igor. Let me take care of it. If I can take them all down silently, they'll be dead before they know what hit them. We have to convince NAR that we're their contractors. That's our ticket inside. All right, Olga. Do it. Wise choice, Professor. One shot, one kill. No luck, just skill. No chances. Damn, we need to get past these scientists. I can help you, Gore. You don't need sniper cover at this point anyway. I'll come closer and see if I can stir up some trouble and get the scientists to evacuate. Then I'll clear the area if necessary. The Brainiacs have their own dedicated comms. I can put my fabulous acting skills to work and tell them to fuck off, but it's a two-man job. The Great Rest Catcher has smiled upon you today. I can help. They're not soldiers. They won't buy our fairy tale. If we don't come up with something convincing, they'll sound the alarm the moment they see us. All right, Olga. Do it. Radio silence for now. Trust me, you'll know if I succeed. Okay, here we go. Hopefully that was the right decision. I know where I am, Igor. I need to run. You're on your own. Thanks for your help. Be careful. Oh man, I hope she's fine. These old ventilation ducts will take me straight to the Ark. What the hell is this? Was it here before? Looks like some sci-fi fucking movie prop. The door is trapped. Touch it, and I'll spend my last moments on Earth convulsing on the dirty floor. This door wasn't supposed to be here. Mousy, the ventilation duct should not be secured. The Red King is watching and waiting. I can feel it. Wait, Igor, remember the map you borrowed from that fucker Semenov? It shows another way in. Guess it was worth it in the end, huh? Sashko's explosives might come in handy now. Your plan sounds reasonable, Mikhail. Do it. The doors are behind you, Igor. Cut through the crap on the other side, and you'll find a nice, fat ventilation duct. Climb up in there, and it'll take you straight to the Ark. I mean, if anybody here dies while trying to help me, I mean, fine. It's not like I, lo I really care about them that much. It means to an end. Let me in! But, like, I don't want them to die, but if they die, fine. I'm here for one reason. One reason only. Damn, this fucking place got crystallized. I hope the bars hold. I might be able to open the gate from this panel. 
but there's a chance I'll release the things in those cages as well. Do you still have some of my explosives? Would really come in handy about now. So this is the heart of darkness. Just as menacing as I imagined it to be. I will <clears throat> gladly burn it all to the ground. The NAR will track me down afterwards, but I don't care. I have reached my destination, Igor. This place is one big fucking trap and totally off grid. The only way to open it from where you are is to crash the whole system. Unless you have some explosives. The Ark is just outside. Luckily, I still have some of Sasko's explosives. I can put them to good use here. All right, we're taking this gate down. Noise. Oh, this looks like a boss fight area. Maybe? Oh, maybe not. Okay. You heard the man move. The priority is to protect the lab. Damn. Looks like we'll have to fight our way out. These guys are the last thing standing between me and Tatiana. I can't back down now. I'll fight my way in if I have to. Oh no. This sucks big time balls. I wish we had someone inside who could get those assholes to look the other way. There's no other choice. Let's do this, guys! Tango spotted! Engage your will! There's blood on your hands, Igor. You didn't prepare well enough. Your companion's demise is on you alone, Igor. This could have been prevented if you'd have prepared better. Shut up. Oh no, it's Olivier! Uh oh. I didn't know it was behind me. Fucking okay, A, I gotta fucking go back. Igor, it's not the end. I won't let it end like this. And I just walk all the way straight back to that. You took my AK, you bitch! I'm okay with all of my choices. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. I'll just load an autosave. What am I doing? I don't I'm not gonna replay the whole mission. <laughs> what am I doing? Just reload there. Duh. I'm just gonna be doing the same thing anyways. There's no need to, there's no reason to restart everything. That's funny. I was literally going to have to replay it all exactly the same way I did it, instead of just reloading where I did the same exact thing. Olivia's going to die, but hey, whatever. Damn. Looks like we'll have to fight our way out. These guys are the last thing standing. Hey, okay, we know it. We know it. Fight our way in. It's weird how like, they automatic. He like just runs up and like there's no sneaking or anything. There's blood on your hands, Igor. You didn't prepare well enough. Your companion's demise is on you alone, Igor. I don't care about my companions that much. If you'd have prepared better. It sucks that Olivia died, but... Uh... Olivier! No! Olivier! Too bad. Olivier, we have 
have to help him! It's over to him, Nico. We need to carry on. Any more calming salts you guys have? No? Okay. There we go. Necessary sacrifice for my goals, Olivier. Everyone, wait here and watch the perimeter. I have to do this alone. Tatiana. Finally. Ready. Igor, my love. My child. It's been so very long. But it's finally you. It has to be you. You know it in your heart, my love. I've been calling out to you for all these years, and you answered. But how? You shouldn't be here. It's a mistake. You'll only bring great misery on us all. My poor little boy. All of us together, finally. Release me, my love. Free me. What did you call me? I don't understand. What can I do? There's nothing you can do. You have to end this. Both of us. We were a mistake. An abomination. Close the portal. Destroy the connection. W what connection? The connection is the strongest force in the universe. It cannot be destroyed. It has to be completed. It is our destiny. Go to the reactor. Find it, my love. It is waiting for you. Find what? No more waiting. Please, can't you just let me die? I can't take any more. Tanya? Go. Die. Fade. Portal. Tatiana, are you still there? Boris, help! Die, Igor! I don't understand. Oh, fuck! Reactor, Chernobylite. Well, what do I do? Oh, fuck, I need to figure this out! Okay. I'm gonna destroy it? You mean by child? Am I wrong about Igor not being Igor? Oh, uh, oh, hey, wait one second. I got, I got a gun just for you, buddy. Uh, five, five. There, there we go. Okay, I'm ready. Let me, let me do a save here. Zero minutes go. Okay, let's go, Boris. You took your time, Igor. Oh, see, they parenthesized Captain Igor. Captain, it's time you gave me some. I answers. knew it. I'm not Igor. Yes, we'll get to that. But since this is our last meeting, I want to ask you a question first. Fine, just make it quick. Parentheses. What do you really hope to achieve, Igor? Survival would be a start. You may find this surprising, but our goals are actually aligned. How's that? We were both going after the same thing. But this whole time, we've been chasing someone else's agenda without knowing it. <coughs> Chernobylite's agenda. Come on, man. I've come too far to be fed a line of bullshit. Let's start from the beginning. Do you know who I am? I sure do, Boris. You were my closest friend until you decided to betray me. To take Tachana from me. Boris is dead. I killed him on that fateful night, April 26th, 1986, and took his identity. Good riddance. He was a treacherous piece of shit. You took his? Why? What? The more important question 
The question you somehow failed to ask yourself all this time is... Dude, I knew it! Uh, I knew I'm not Igor. Because you're not Professor Igor Kiminyuk. You never were. I am Igor I was right! <laughs> I was right! I My earlier thing was right! To protect you and your mother. Protect me? How? By trying to kill me at every turn? If I wanted to kill you, I would have done it the first time we met at the power plant. Will you quit talking in fucking riddles? The truth is hard to swallow, I know. It was hard for me, too. You are me. Tachana isn't your fiance. She's mine. Everything you know about her, everything you remember, none of it is yours. You're living someone else's life. My life. You are my clone. Ah. Uh. You got my body, my brain, my skills, and most importantly, my memories from before the Chernobyl disaster. What do you say? How is that even possible? Tatiana was sterile. That was our personal tragedy. But when Semenov imprisoned her after the Duga fiasco, she fell pregnant. At first, I thought Boris was the father, and I was angry with her. But that was another of Semenov's lies. He needed me to stay on the project and study Chernobylite. So he injected Tanya with the nano solution. What happened next was, I don't know what to call it, an immaculate conception. She gave birth to a boy, you. You grew much more quickly than other kids, but your mind didn't seem to follow. It was different somehow. The Chernobylite no doubt affected you in unpredictable ways. I never really considered you my son. You scared the shit out of me. I didn't know what to do with you. But it was obvious that Semenov would incorporate you into his experiments. Or maybe cut you open and rummage around inside. Until one night, Tanya, your mother, communicated with me telepathically, even though her body was in a coma. She pleaded with me to release you into the woods. And that's what I did. You're saying Tatiana's child who you released in the woods in 1990? But that's impossible. Impossible! I don't remember any of this! Of course you don't. You looked like a teenager that had the mind of a small child. I remember giving you a sweater that Tatiana knitted for me. The night was so cold. It had my name on it. The sweater? I had it in the camp. I was imprisoned. And... Yes, it could have been a trigger. Your mind somehow began to rebuild itself. Why in my image? I can only guess. Perhaps you were constructed from Tatiana's desires, from her expectations of a child. Funny how I called it pseudoscience. I suspect the process was somehow facilitated by the Chernobylite. But she's been calling me this whole time. She wanted me here. I'm afraid you were bamboozled, my poor boy. We all were. It wasn't Tanya who called you here, but it. Chernobylite? Mm. But the images, the voices. They felt so real, I know. Your mother was your biggest weakness, and the entity exploited that. It wanted you here. It has plans for you, you see, and I cannot allow it to succeed. Someone sent me a photo of Tatiana and the piece of Chernobylite. Those weren't hallucinations. They were real. I couldn't have constructed my portal gun without them. Oh, that. It was that bastard Semenov, of course. He wanted to bring you here as well. He never got over it when you vanished. Not that it matters now. I really hoped you would stay away. But it's too late now. I can't allow you to interact with the Entity in any way. Only one of us is leaving this room alive. Wait. Can't we talk it over? We just did. Goodbye, son. Igor. I wish there was another way. Die, other me! Oh. Whoa. Okay. Ow, fuck you, bitch. Ow, you hit hard. And you radiated me, you hoe. I wish there was another way. Don't go 
grow easy on me. I won't do the same for you. I wish there was another way. Die, original me. Dad, brother, whatever. Ouchie. Okay, let's uh use this. This gives me no pleasure, but it has to be done. Ouch, that fucking hurt. Uh okay. Still good, still good, still good for now. Still good for now. Uh, uh. I wish there was another way. Okay, okay, yep, you got okay, you got me. Uh eh, 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 eh. Nah, ah, ah, scary, spooky. Okay, oh god. Run! Avoid! Dodge! Okay, there we go. We're good, we're good. Go ah, they're behind me! The well, he didn't take any damage from that. Behind me? In front of me? Oh, there you are. Am I really your son? I don't. I don't know how the science works behind this. Don't Fuck you. I won't do the same for you. I'm not. Stop repeating it so many times. Ouch. Is he dead yet? Get off me, Igor. <laughs> Shit, we're in the turn of blade zone. <sighs> Hello, Igor. I see we meet. <laughs> the Spider Man meme <laughs> pointing to each other. Oh, I guess I can't shoot him. Okay, okay, none of that, none of that. Any. Uh, 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 uh. You son of a bitch! Oh, fuck, ow. Oh, shit, man. I don't need a force field to defeat you. Oh! Oh! Wait, what? What? You... You should be dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot lately. Look familiar? Where did you get that from? Where else? I took it from you. From your cold, dead hands, Igor. I... Different dimension, what? me. Where? When? In a reality where you fucked up, my friend. From one of the many worlds bearing the brunt of your failures. Are you saying that you come from a different... That you're from... <sighs> this is hell. You have no idea. Where are you going? Back to my screwed up world, of course. You know me. I prefer to die fighting. Wait! Don't waste the chance I've given you, Igor. Finish the job. I'm curious about your world now. 
Okay, let's reload. Let's go kick my ass. It's over, my son. Close the portal. Cut the connection. Deny this thing away into our world. Do it now. Son, please. It will kill her. It will kill the love of my life. Of our life. Please, there's another way. Just let me go. I've suffered long enough. You can do this, son. You could be the man I could not. Be the better version of me. Go through the portal and face this thing. Undo the harm we both caused Tanya. No, do not do this. Kill me. Just kill me, please. Finish it. It's time to end this once and for all. If anyone can hear me, run as far from here as you can. Everyone, run like hell. Ah! I want to live! Where do I go? I need a map! There's no map! Aha! <laughs> Fuck me! Huh? Go, 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 Oh, left. Right. Up. Straight. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Thank you for showing me the way. I won't waste this, I promise. Goodbye. You can rest now. Ah, damn The protagonist never explained to his comrades exactly what happened at the power plant, but he came out changed. The Chernobylite vanished entirely. The zone is now free of it. Igor Stalkers drove off the remaining NAR troops and even convinced a few of them to join the cause. Now they're working together for the good of the sandwich shells, tracking down the few remaining monsters still roaming the area. Olivier never had the chance to change his own past and prevent the ambush that wiped out his team. His obsession almost steered him down the dark path of treachery, but in the end, he redeemed himself by helping Igor with his mission. Even though it cost him his life, because he had been a part of something bigger than himself, he was at peace in his final moments. Okay. In spite of his flaws, Olivier will always be remembered in the zone for his courage and grit. For this haunted place will always be a monument to broken heroes with a twisted past. Mikhail's life was always full of violence. He was the angriest, most obnoxious man Igor had ever known, but he was also unfailingly honest, both with himself and others. Mikhail's thirst to avenge his murdered friends was his main driving force, but working with Igor and the others eventually made him appreciate the kinder aspects of life. In spite of his rough manner and the darkness inside him, Igor came to like the neurotic stalker, and by the end, considered him a true colleague. Mikhail decided to remain in the zone and join the others in protecting their shared home. Sashko had always been the lone wolf and daredevil of the zone. Life had always been harsh for him, and he learned the hard way to rely only on himself. His crusade against NAR began with a desire for closure regarding his brother Ruslan's death, but Igor's quest to find Tatiana was what kept him going until the finish line. After the events in the zone, Sashko decided to go back to Moscow and face the hard truth about his parents' death. Eventually, he would return to Pripyat, which became his second home. 
Katakon's fight against the Rat King has reached an end. Having barely survived the zone, he realized his time was up. Now, someone else must carry the torch and defeat the evil lurking in the power plant. But Tarakan wasn't worried. After all, he had prepared Igor and others well. Tarakan's true identity was never discovered. Was he a madman, a saint, a spy? Perhaps he was all of these, or perhaps none of them. But one thing is certain, the old man was a true child of Pripyat. His restless soul will forever wander its marshes and woods. When all was said and done, Olga's thoughts went to her mother and the Samoshils. She had joined Igor in his mission because she knew what it meant to live with a hole inside you, a hole left by the departed. As a troubled teenager in Minsk, she'd never planned to become a freedom fighter or martyr, but sometimes we encounter the person who will change our destiny at just the right moment. Life is unpredictable that way. Olga decided to continue serving as the huntress and ranger of Pripyat's forests, striking fear into the hearts of anyone who wished harm upon her people. As unlikely as it may seem, and against all odds, these two wounded warriors found each what? other in the wake of the apocalypse. <laughs> no way! Olga and Sashko both endured a sea of pain and loss from an early age, and although their personalities are quite different, they formed a deep connection. What? After all, certain <laughs> flowers will bloom in even the harshest environments. Even if the world seems bleak and hopeless at times, you may still create your own oasis. You just need the will to live and love. Like so many before him, General Koslov made the wrong choices while chasing a dream of the good life. War taught him about the cruelty and inevitability of loss, leaving him indifferent to human suffering. His experiences made him strong, but also blind to the serendipitous moments which could have placed his life on a different trajectory. And so his death was as empty as his life. General Koslov spent his final moments consumed with bitterness. If I only had another chance, he said to himself. Alas, that is a privilege afforded to very few. Semenov's ambitions and neuroses eventually got him killed. He was a brilliant scientist, but could never come to terms with the collapse of the Soviet Union. Though not a devout communist, Semenov could not stomach the chaotic aftermath, for it reflected the emptiness of his own heart. And so he chased his green Chernobylite dream, hoping his experiments would usher in a new world order. In reality, what he sought was to fill the gaping void in his own soul. In the end, everything he thought he had achieved disintegrated into nothing. He died, and NAR dissolved. Most of its mercenaries wiped out by either the shadows or the Samoshils. All that remains of NAR in the zone are the empty barracks and derelict labs, stark reminders of a misguided ambition based on human misery. Faced with staggering losses, the shareholders halted all funding, 